not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. We are not like that. So well, maybe, maybe this we don't have like wrong. animals. Hello, you're welcome to Head to Head, your non-diplomatic talk show where we say it just the way it is, no matter whose ox is God. My name is Eshomomo Imodu, and with me today on the top is Dr. Tokumbo, Adetokumbo Pierce. Now, in 2015, he was the Director General of the Jonathan Sambo Presidential uh, Campaign Committee in Lagos State. And also, he will be running for the Chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Lagos State. Now, Dr. Tokumbo? Yes, nice sir. to have your mic off. Let's do it this way. Good to be here. Now, the PDP in Lagos State, does it still exist? The PDP is very much alive and well in Lagos State, very vibrant, very, very uh, uh, involved and very, very exciting. So we're very much alive. You see, the problem with PDP in Lagos State is that we've never had a governor in Lagos State that could bring everybody together under his umbrella. Mm. And that has been our main problem. Um, because all politics is local. And if you don't have somebody locally who can bring things together, one point is difficult. So in, Lagos, in the PDP Lagos, and PDP is a very democratic party. You have all sorts of, you have leaders, not one leader. That's been the challenge for us. So you have a lot of uh, rift and rancor between different people, different groups. So it appears as if we are not uh, focused, but we are there, no, 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 no. we are many, and we are, we are hopeful for if the future. If you say it appears you are not focused, mm. I think we're begging the issue. Mm. A lot of Lagosians will say PDP in Lagos is not focused. Mm. And when you say you are a PDP member, people tend to look at you and say, it's just like flogging a dead horse in Lagos State, I mean PDP. It's like a dead horse in Lagos, I don't think so. <laughs> um, not really. It would be a mistake to think that way. Don't forget that in uh, 2015, we had uh, eight members of the eight, uh, Lagos State Assembly. We Where had, are they uh, now? Well, no, no, mm, you said it's a dead horse. Not a dead horse. They only use the PDP as a vehicle to get to win the election, not because PDP is viable. No, no, no. Well, they were PDP. They won the election under the umbrella of PDP. We also had six members of the House of Representatives. They won the election and they were in the House. What happened, the reason why the assemblymen defected was not because they just used the PDP. When you go into an assembly, of uh, so many people, I think it's about almost 40, and you're only eight, and they start putting, you are not chairman of any committee. They put the governor, is uh, the opposition party, they put pressure on you, they, they deprive you of this, they deprive you, they force you out of, the, out of the party, out of the party you are in. They force you, they make you an offer you can't refuse. In other words, join us or we punish you. So our people defected. I don't think it's the right thing to do. But don't say they didn't want to be in PDP, because you will see what happens. If I am lucky to become the state chairman of this party, you will see hundreds, thousands of people leaving the APC coming back to PDP. No, no, that's just a campaign gimmick. No, no, let's, let's, let's trace back. It's not a campaign gimmick. Let, let's, let's trace it's back. It's not a campaign gimmick. There was a Who time. is in APC now? People cross from PDP to APC. Why? By the way, let me tell you something that most people maybe have not thought of. Everybody saying Fanny Kayode has left the party, is a is no good, is a crook, is this. I said, how many people have left PDP? He's not the only one. They go to APC. Go and find out what's really behind his defection. He's probably running from EFCC. They probably made him an offer, they made Dobani Koro and made so many other people. Come to our party and all your sins are forgiven. I sure only said it. Now, that's why I think Fanny Kayode has gone, not because he wants to leave the Everything he said about the PDP, APC is not true. Condemn them to the, to the ground. Said the truth about the party and about Buhari. Now he's in APC. People say, why can't he go to APC? He had to go. They're under pressure. Blackmail, that's the only thing bringing people to APC. 
Nothing else. No, no. If your party it's it's that strong, don't you think your party can provide the robust opposition? Now, if you take a look at the PDP, we're talking about nationally now, and you're talking about opposition party, people tend to look at it and say, there seem to be no opposition party in Nigeria today. Mm. And if the PDP, like you say, is really an opposition party, where is the voice of the opposition? You see, this APC government, you must realize the way it's operated. It's like a Gestapo, fascist government. They criminalize any opposition. And if they cannot force you to keep quiet, you blackmail you. That is why you don't have opposition. Our people, people of Africa, so they you who agree are there people. is no opposition in uh, Nigeria today. The opposition is the PDP is, is, is weak. Is, they, they, they've been silenced to a great extent. But I'm telling you why. It is not because we don't know what to say. Look. The opposition to the APC is the whole of Nigeria. So they're doing the job for the PDP. No, but I think, I, think, I think we're missing it. If the whole of Nigeria is the opposition, but you have a political party that ought to be like an alternative government. Look. So if the voice of the alternative government is not there, then how do you direct Nigerians? So it is the Nigerians that are leading the PDP? Definitely. Oh, Nigerians are leading PDP. This is the party of the people. No, 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 no. Nigerians are leading PDP. PDP is not the one trying to provide the leadership. Vote, the PDP is just a vehicle to promote so, but the But this voice vehicle of the has people. no tires. This vehicle has no engine. That is the meaning. When you don't win an election, it is very difficult to do this. Let me tell you what happened to the APC. I was able to get rid of uh, Jonathan's administration. That was a real opposition that they gave Jonathan. So where is it? That is what we are talking well, about. Well, this is it. Where is it? This is it. PDP is not structured to blackmail people and tell lies the way they did in APC. It's not Everything lies. Everything they did. You mean, you mean they, they lied to Nigerians? They presented an alternative. PDP is not there presenting an alternative. That's what we're saying. Look, PDP is presenting an alternative. We're talking about it. That's why I'm here now. And that's why I'm running for state chairman. And that's why we are going to have a Congress. You say we don't present an alternative. We present good example to the people of Nigeria. We had world congresses, nobody, no bloodshed. We're not fighting each other. Look at APC. APC is not even a real political party. No, no, no. Let's, let's talk about your, your party in these states. Yes. Let's, let's a bit go away from the national. Let's, let's come back to Lagos mm. State. Now, you say you had congresses and, and, and that uh, no bloodshed. People didn't hear much about it. Now, the simple reason why people didn't hear much about your party in this state is because your party is not doing well in the state. That is the meaning. What are we going to do? We are not in office. You don't have to be in office to provide opposition to this government in Lagos State. Look, I didn't say they didn't hear about us. Only the government in power who usually they dominate everything. And this administration has been incredible in doing that. They silence everybody, they blackmail people, they suppress people, but the point I'm making is, we had a peaceful Congress. The reason you hear about APC all the time is because they're at war. When people are at war, fighting or, or each other... Yeah, because they, they are working here. in the states. Which work are they doing? That's, you mean this governor, what have they done in the last administration? What have they done? I mean, Rose has uh, some who even, even refurbished. What has he put into education? What has he done with the health service? There is so much. All he's doing is making laws in the assembly to protect Tinubu from EFCC, you know, to protect his, his leader. So look, 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 the point is this. When you are not in government, hmm? I want to pick you on what people you People don't said. listen to you. No, no, I, th I want yes. to pick you on what you just said. You hmm. said he's making laws to protect Tinubu. I think the biggest problem people hmm. say the PDP has is hmm. Tinobu is the biggest problem, mm -hmm. and you have just agreed. Sure. So it's the biggest problem you have. Sure. So the party is fighting one man. No, how the, come, the how man, come the PDP becomes a political <laughs> party that is fighting just one we're man? We're not fighting one man. Because you see him as your problem. No, no, no. Listen, Tinobu is not just an individual. Tinobu has become 
an establishment. An institution. He has been. So you respect that? Of course. But listen, that is what has happened all this time. He has managed to maneuver and put everything under his control, but it's collapsing. You know that. Within his own party now, there's so much division. In fact, the last Congress they had in Lagos here, the national of the APC recognized the opposition to Tinubu's faction. No, 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 so it's, that it's, just it's, tells you that the party is not focused on doing the people's business. Or rather, the party Nigeria, is playing politics and fighting each other. That's what they're doing in, in Lagos. In Nigerian politics, mm. there will always be opposition. So the north. It's not just Nigerian even politics. The PDP, everywhere, everywhere even the PDP, in the world, there's always opposition. There's always opposition. Whether sure. you're having primary, there will be the parallel. Sure. Even in the PDP, you have parallel. You have the other group that are also holding their own primaries. And, and what I'm saying is, the PDP, people say PDP is the enemy to itself. That the problem PDP has today was not created by the opposition, by the APC. The problem of PDP is PDP itself. PDP where? Obani Koro was in PDP, in Lagos State. Okay. He moved away from PDP. Mm. Adesha Yogule, former minister, was in PDP. He moved away from PDP. Mm -hmm. There was a sitting chairman of the PDP mm -hmm. who defected into, into the APC. Now, PDP has become a problem. Let me, take them, let me take them one by one. Obani Koro defected to APC because it was running from EFCC. They you told are saying him. that. You no, 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 no. That. Listen, listen. Where are the facts? If you go to any marketplace, hmm, any back street of Lagos, they will tell you, Obani Koro did not have any issues with APC, with PDP. He went there because, because he was he invited. Because he realized that PDP is no longer a viable listen, platform man, to, to the, achieve his ambition. The man was in court, okay? The man was in court over the problem he had with uh, Fayoshe. Fayoshe himself now is on his way to PD, uh, APC. They are all running from- Fayoshe is going to APC? No, I don't know. But you have just said it. Well, he has been promoting Tinubu. So to me, he might as well be in APC. But that is one of the, you see, that, that is one of the leader of your party. So what? So which means your party is daily losing credibility. I've so just told you away. why they are leaving. These are not living because of principle, they are living because of survival. Now, now, now. Ogulewe, what did Ogulewe do? Ogulewe, that was the greatest critic of Tinubu, is now his best spokesman. Why? Because, again, it was made an offer he can't refuse. Come and join this party, or you will go to EFCC. You are saying that you can't show us the facts. Do you, know, the facts. Do you know what happened? Dr. Pierce, do well, you have well, the facts that that is what the facts is using? are on record? Which record? Or oh, Shimole told everybody, if you have a problem, don't worry. Just before I come go, to break, can I remind you also? Come to EF, can AP, I remind you also to APC, that your party, all your, all your under the former uh, president, Olusegun mm. Basenjo, mm. also was being accused of using the EFCC to harass opposition. So it is not an APC issue. Your party, the former president, youth, was being yeah. accused. So it's just an allegation. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but, but you said, yeah, Jonathan, uh, it's not an allegation. I said it's an allegation. People look, say look, that. Look, look, Just look. the way you are saying today. Anybody, I've never, in fact, I'm surprised that you're taking this position. I never heard it before. That is not clear. Let's quickly go on this break. And when <laughs> we come back, the PDP in Lagos State will be our focus. Please do stay with us. It's not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. We are not like that. So well, maybe, maybe we don't act like, like animals. It's nice to have you back. Now, if you're just joining me, I've been speaking with Dr. Adito Kumbo Pierce. Now, he was a former lecturer at the University of Lagos, and now he said he wants to become the chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Lagos State. Now, let's hear him out. Now, you left us talking about a former chairman of your party in Lagos State. You want to justify there was why a, he there, left? There was a problem in the party. In which party? In the PDP. Okay. He went to an event, and uh, there was a clash. And uh, one of his uh, followers, his supporters, shot, allegedly, and killed somebody. When that happened, 
he was arraigned. And he was in serious trouble. The court case was about to begin. All of a sudden, we heard that my good friend Salvador had crossed to APC. It takes me to something. Yes. It takes me to something. Yes. It simply shows that people who are in PDP, or probably those who have left and those who are dead today, probably have skeletons in their cupboard. So the moment they jump ship, they come looking for them. So the issue is, why is it that your party, the PDP, keeps people with skeletons in their cupboard? Uh, I think if you look hard behind anybody, you'll find something so there. So if we look behind you, mm -hmm. there's also skeleton in your cupboard. I'm not perfect, I'm sure. I don't know what it is. So which means, but nobody someday you perfect. might also jump ship. No, no, no. He didn't jump ship. If they come after you, you will jump ship also. No, no, no. Listen, listen. What happened to Salvador was that he had a court case. And on the dictates or advice of Oshomole, come to our party or your sins are forgiven, he went there and no more court case. That's the problem. By the way, he's having serious issues now with them in the APC because he say, I came here and you didn't give me anything. I brought hundreds of people and nothing. Let's, so let's, let's come back to your so, party again. Mm, you want to run. Who is your godfather? Who is paying the bills for you in the PDP? Um, right now, I'm paying my own bills. I have a lot of support from the leadership and the people. I have been to every local government to talk to ward structures, ward chairman, women leader, youth leader, and so on, potential delegates. And it is my message that I believe will sell. It doesn't have to be the richest person <clears throat> who will win election. Things are changing in the PDP. Can I bring you, can I tell you something? Yes. People say if you've gone to every place in the PDP and you have not visited the former deputy, nation, uh, de de deputy national chairman of the party, Chief Bode George, then <laughs> you are in for a big time. Well, Is Bode George on your camp? I believe so because I talked to him. You believe so? Listen, let me tell you how I did it. I went to all these leaders, including Chief Body George, whom I know very well. And I told him <clears throat> my interest in running. And he said, you have my blessing. You want to run? Run. What's going on now is Chief Body George is not imposing anybody. Chief Body George has been alleged all these years to impose. You mean alleged? That's what I say. It's more than just been alleged. No, no, the, that, man, that the, the man whose will not tenure was, come up. was truncated by the courts, I mean, talking about uh, Deji Dohati, hmm. is he also on your camp? No, or is no, he running no, no. against you? No, 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 he's not, he's not supporting me. He's not supporting I you? I know he will support me, and God help me if I need his support. I don't want him to support me. This is a man who went when we had the Southwest Zona Congress. He was working with our fire share to fight against Mackinde, who is our undisputed leader in the Southwest. Oh, zone. you're on the camp of Mackinde. Well, I support the leader of the party in the zone, put it that way. And I did everything. The controversial possible. leader, you say? Who? Ma Governor Mackinde. Controversial, how? Because as uh, our fire share submitted to him, <laughs> our fire share is also a factor in your party. No, you don't, you, don't, you don't seem to agree with fire shape. No, 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 no. This is what happened. We went to a Southwest Congress yeah. whereby virtually all the delegates had been in office before McKinley even got into PDP, before he became governor. Yeah. And yet, in other words, they got into the structure of the party through the, during the period of fire shape, and when fire shape was governor and leader of the Southwest. And yet, Mackinde was able to defeat him in that Congress. That tells you things are changing. You see, so uh, I cannot support whatever role Fayoshe, Fayoshe who has been preaching for Tinubu and conversing for Tinubu, Tinubu is his leader, is his presidential candidate. That such a man should, should not be looked so, upon to so, be regarded in the PDP. And why is it that the PDP is scared of Fayoshe? Nobody who's scared The PDP of is scared of him. Which PDP? The national PDP is scared of Ayoshe. Uh -huh. And you know that. You let said me, he's been campaigning for Tinubu. Let me Why have they not expelled him? Is that not anti-party activity? No, no, no. You see, you dare PDP, not touch him. No, 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 the no, no, no. This is the problem with PDP. PDP, PDP is too liberal. P 
PDP allows oh, it's too weak. No, no, no. That's our policy. You can say anything. So that is the you PDP under this under the immediate past national chairman Secondos is, is is liberal and weak. Is that no, 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 no. Listen, the PDP allows people to say what they want to say, but at the end of the day, to tell you nobody is afraid of fire share. Fire Shea said he was going to win the South South Congress, Southwest Congress. He couldn't do it. I'm not afraid of Fire Shea. In fact, he maybe is afraid of me. I say maybe. I'm not sure. But I know he's afraid of Wiki. I was the chairman of the South South Zona Congress for the PDP. Mm. And when I got there, I was a member originally. And uh, one uh, Senator Mao was supposed to be the chairman of that committee. A day or two before, Fayashi went and collaborated with some people, and they made him the chairman of the Zonal Conference, Congress of the South South. When we heard, we said, OK, let's go. So when we got to Port Harcourt, I got a call from Abuja that Fayashi says he's not coming. I said, why? They said, he said, there's one Dr. Pierce there who is always abusing him, so he's not coming. And all I said about him was, Mr. Man, you're a double agent. Hmm. You are only PDP in the afternoon when people see you at night, you are working for Tinubu, therefore we can't trust you. That is who And talking therefore, about now. he went into the Southwest Congress and failed. Therefore, he's afraid of us. We are not afraid of him. You see, that is where the problem PDP is. Party that wants to stake hold in the Southwest and is divided, just like in Lagos. Now, let me take you back to Olabode George. Mm -hmm. If you have not gone to seek his blessing, uh -huh. don't you think there will be a problem down the road? I've just told you I went to see him, and he has told me I have his blessing. He needs to, and I probably, went to probably see. Probably he needs to raise your hand I, openly. No, 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 no. I don't want that. I went to see Dr. Gunkelu, former minister. I went to see Mrs. Miner, former BOT. Do, 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 I, do, do those I ones went, have? Do, do, do they? Do they have troop behind them? I went to We're see. We're talking about an Olabade who has troop behind I him. I went to see former deputy governor Kufu Boknakrele. I went to see former state chairman Shelley. Dr. I went Pierce, to see we are all of, these of, leaders. Of, of, of Ola, but they who has troop behind them. We're not talking about people that don't have troop behind them. Uh, you don't understand the way our party is. I'm telling you, there's a new PDP, which is about to be launched as soon as I became the state chairman. Let me tell you something. Chief Body George and I, in fact, we are family. Yeah. I went to him, and he knows that it will not even be in my interest for him to be raising my hand. If Body George raises, if any of these leaders raise anybody's hand in PDP today, there'll be a problem. Mm. Okay, now. So I, I all who? you do is you go and see them, get their support, and they will bless you, and they will, whatever they have to support you, they will support you. That, that, that's a group in but the don't APC. Go and depend that's on a one group person. in the APC mm. that says uh, Lagos for Lagos. Yes. You are a Lagosian. Yes. Are you a Lagosian? Through and through. Through and through. And that, My that father group. is from uh, 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 in Lagos Island. My mother is from Ekpe. I'm a Lagosian 100%. Now, 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 that group is saying they want the next governor of Lagos State to mm. be a Lagosian. Mm -hmm. And probably that is the reason why people like Obani Koro moved. That look, <laughs> the, 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 the platform of PDP can't give us the governorship. Let's go to the party, the winning party that can give us the platform. Now, are you also thinking of working with any other group that has similar interest with you to fight the APC and to fight the man that your party is so scared of in Lagos State? Are you thinking of going to Alliance? You see, trust me, at the end of this year, by the grace of God, when we have concluded our state congresses and we have concluded our national convention, you will see PDP coming back fully prepared with a plan for Nigeria, restructure Nigeria. Hmm? Okay. Before we go to you, the issue you, of you, restructure you, Nigeria, mm. let me just ask Dr. Mm. Pierce, because he wants to become the chairman in Lagos State, mm. what are you bringing to the table in Lagos State? What difference are you bringing on board? Well, the first difference is something I just told you, that I work with all the leaders, I work with everybody, all stakeholders. For instance, we're having world elections. I will not be seen here saying, I want this person. No, 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 no. I say, you must have an open playing field, fair election, open, democracy. All I did was I went and mobilized support for my candidate to go to Congress and win.
and he won. That's the way we do it now in, in PDP. And that's the way we are going to do it. It's not like before when somebody will come and impose somebody. That's what has been our problem. And the only reason it's been a problem is because we've not had one clear leader. You know that there was never a time when some people in the party have not challenged him but a judge. Because if he had been the governor of Lagos State and had been able to structure the party, look at what's going on now. Jando, Lagos for Lagos, they're all fighting. I am going to form an alliance with young, vibrant, determined people. People are determined to create a better Lagos. It doesn't uh, matter, it leads me to it one doesn't final matter question. whether they are with Tinubu or with uh, Doctor, Lagos for Lagos. Doctor, it leads me to one final question. Yes. Election is expensive. Mm -hmm. Do you have the finance? Do you have the watches, like we say in politics? Do you have the watches to finance your party or your election? No, no, no. I have the watches to finance my own election. It is not the state chairman that finances the party in the state. So you have the watches to finance your own election. And I have the relationship to create the funds. For instance, one of the things I'm going to do as state chairman is set up a one billion naira building fund to do what? To buy our own state secretariat. You won't believe it that we don't have one in Lagos. We are do, do, do you have a national secretariat? Do you have oh, a building in your of own? Course. Of course. Is that building your own? It's no. a rented building you are using well, in Abuja. Plaza. It's a rented building. Look, we have buildings. We are going to buy our own secretariat in Lagos. And it's time we do that. All these years we've been in government, we have had the opportunity, but now I'm going to make sure all the governors we have, everybody we have, will contribute to this and we will develop our party in Lagos. Dr. Edokumbo, thank you for coming on my talk today. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate this so well. <laughs> now you've listened and had Dr. Adetokumbo Pez. Until I come your way again next week on the same platform, head to head. I remain yours sincerely. Shabbat Bye for now.